comes with garlic and onion and cumin and jalapeno peppers are bubbling away in the pan, two cans of black beans. I'm now adding the zest of one lime. This is for what will be our nacho topping, but it's also an amazing black bean dip. You could serve it cold, but here we're gonna serve it warm on top of our nachos. Squeeze the juice of the lime down in there. And then we're gonna pop this into the food processor and puree it up. Now for the bean dip, I actually like um, a Louisiana style um, sauce called Frank's Red Hot or Crystal um, Red Hot. It's so weird how many hot sauces I have and I love um, like Tabasco sauce, but in many varieties and I use each variety for like specific things. Like I use them, the, the Tabasco in my gazpacho salad topping. <laughs> but in this particular dip, no, I want the Frank's Red Hot. So, <laughs> I mean, and I hate those little spouts they put on the top to make you use less. Get out of here. <laughs> Just throw those right in the garbage. All right, then throw that on and puree this up into a nice thick black bean topping. Remember, we hard toasted our chips and then I put a little thin layer of cheese so they don't get too wet then all of our topping, and then all of the rest of the cheese. Now, I like pepper jack, because I like everything super spicy. Um, but you could do Monterey Jack just straight up if you want something that's a little bit milder. Okay, so tons of black beans, all of our cheese, and then put them back under the broiler this time just to melt the cheese. I love this method of serving nachos. You take some parchment paper, throw it on a cookie sheet, pick out a pretty cutting board to pop underneath that sheet when it pops out of the oven. And this looks like we're having something that's considered pretty bad for us, right? A giant plate of nachos. But instead of some really fatty but delicious ground beef, we just made bean dip, a warm black bean dip, full of great nutrition, right? Black beans are affordable, inexpensive, they're high in protein and high in fiber, so really good. Then we topped that with that spicy pepper jack cheese, and we've made a giant salad, really. I call it gazpacho salsa. This is sweet peppers, chili peppers, cucumbers, tomatoes, red onion, hot sauce, lime juice, and a little bit of cilantro, and it's just a giant salad, really, that you're gonna layer over top of this. <laughs> now, there's a little bonus recipe here that I love. When I serve these up, instead of just putting a, a blob of sour cream in the middle, I take a ripe avocado and I put it into the food processor with a little dollop of sour cream, lime juice, and a pinch of salt. And I puree that and I make avocado cream to drizzle down over the top. I mean, 